monkey see, monkey do, monkey, monkey, monkey. What was wrong with the, the other one? No sound. Oh yeah. <laughs> Our high tech mic stand. There we go. <laughs> right, let's get to it. Keys are in. Hello. We're off. We're off. Where are we going? We are going to a country park in South Wales. Oh, wonderful. The reason is the walking coat racks. Dears. In, in old money. <laughs> <laughs> the plan for today is to try to photograph some deer. Now they will be the main focus, but hey, if I see a mushroom or a weevil along the, along the tracks, I'm gonna take his picture. I would think nothing less of you. Oh, thanks man. Yeah. Um, 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 right, okay, slight hiccup. What's that? I, I've only got a macro lens and my 12 to 40. Um, well, you'll have to get very close then. <laughs> You know, you know. Last time, you you let me uh, you let me a lens. Yes, I did. Um, if if I if I pay you, yes, lots of money. Can I borrow again? Only if it's a lot of money. But I have got one, and you're very lucky that I have got one with me. Whoa, that's very generous. Yes, it is, is it the forty one fifty? It is the forty one fifty, and nice. it is a two times converter. Hey, perfect, excellent. Because we don't really want to get too close to stags, do you? No, no, no. Be careful, people. <laughs> so, um, on that note, should we go? Let's go. Oh, I'm not Garrett Radford. He said he'd be here. Surprise! Blimey. I know, it's good, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Gee, why have you got that on? Is it to stalk the deer? Oh, no, 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 no. That's ridiculous. That's, this is a country park. Oh. No, this is just leftovers from last night. I went out partying. <laughs> You're a boy. <laughs> You're a boy and a half. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you not? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not Rob Cottle. He's not. <laughs> That's Rob Cottle. I'm Garrett Radford. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Outsiders. outsiders. <laughs> That'll do. So, gear-wise, guess what I'm using? Yes, the OM1 with the 150-400 F45. Mainly because I'm going to get some close-ups, hopefully a stand stag. But also, I'm going to try and pull back a little bit and get a little bit of environment as well. Not the best of light, but we're gonna see what we can do. Do you know what? I've also brought along the OM1, but Rob has very kindly lent me his 40 to 150 f2.8 Pro lens. Um, I haven't got any other choice. It's either this or macro lens. But I will say this is a fantastic lens. It's gonna be super versatile. That f2.8 aperture is gonna be amazing, especially if we get into the forest and whatnot. But you know what? I had so much fun shooting a slow-mo video the other day. I think I'm going to do that today and leave the pictures to the expert himself. Can I have my money now, Rob? I said it. I can hear him. King Stanley Stag bellowing like the king he is. Right. It's not King Stanley Stag. We think it's Cowardly Custard, who basically runs a mile during the rut. But this year, he seems to be a bit more of a hit with the ladies. <laughs> and he's got five girlies in his harem. So, good old Cowardly. But we still got to find Stanley as well. But we're going for Cowardly first. Let's go. Hi, Rob's up there gallivanting with some deers. And I just managed to get some really cool footage of a young male red deer with a face absolutely covered in flies. Looked rather annoying, but hey, he was dealing with it. Stronger man than I am. Let's go see how Rob's getting on. How are you doing, buddy? It's pretty good, actually, because King Stanley's up in those trees over there. Plus, we've got a part of his harem and there's a couple of young pretenders up there, some princes. Uh, plus we've also got some nice shots of the white fallow deer as well, which is really nice. Um, but it's framing quite nicely amongst all the bracken and fern at the moment, which is very nice for environmental shots. Perfect. So Rob's busted up his macro lens to film this lovely speckle. Oh. Oh. And he's gone. And he's gone. See, it's part of the macro world. Oh, oh he's back. Oh, he's back. <laughs> he's gone. He's Okay, it's probably gone that time. <sighs> Welcome to the world of macro photography, Rob. You can stick it. Oh, 
I thought I had a good shot, Rob, but I think this one's a bit poo. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Well, there we go. Look <laughs> at that. There's a bit of smudge. these beautiful orange leaves and the background is in lovely shade so because we've got like a, a cool white balance it's looking really nice because you get the warm tones against the cool tones now I think this is a prime opportunity for me to try using my handheld high-res mode on here this is one of the coolest features ever because basically I'm gonna get a 50 megapixel file out of this oh, 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 oh. get your composition if you shoot in high res mode, either on a tripod or handheld, um, try and time it for when things ain't moving, because <laughs> otherwise it'll look a bit funny. But these are looking really, really nice. There we go. I'm composing and making sure that um, I don't include any of the treetops there, the top of that canopy, because it'll split the picture in half and it'll basically just clutter things up a bit. But if we could just shoot with everything pointing downwards, keep everything flat, then it basically just flattens out the background, removes any distracted elements. But I kind of like these ones in the background there because they make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. I'll try and replicate to see if it picks it up. <laughs> Hang on, let me try. <laughs> Did it identify me as a bird? No. Oh, oh that's, that's practically warm. Is it nice? It's practically warm, that is. Do you, do you want to use my manly big flask? I think you've got a better um, wall than mine. Yeah, but... Oh, the... you've got a porter as well. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Uh. One good thing about this biscuit, what's that? It's filling me up. Mm, we need the energy. Rob, yeah. how would you feel about going into the deep unknown, heading into the forest up there and seeing if we can't get some environmental shots? That's me to a T, that is. It is, that's what you do. Crawling underneath undergrowth. <laughs> that's why they call him the worm. <laughs> that's not the only reason. <laughs> Come on, wormy, let's go on a journey. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, what's my head? Oh. Oh. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck. Oh. As you can see, it's really fantastic underfoot. These deers ain't gonna hear us coming. No. <laughs> We're um, coming up to where we saw the deer earlier on. We are. Um, I think it's wise if you go ahead of us slightly. One, it means that if we get charged, they get to you first. <laughs> Gives me a couple of seconds to get away. Fair and enough. also, you do have a two million millimeter lens. So you probably stand a little bit more of a chance of getting a shot than I do. That's right. Get let's, let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry too much about camouflage and all that nonsense, it's simply because these stags are used to people. They're used to prams going past, bikes going past, as I said, just be respectful and just wear some muted colours, that's all you need. And Rob is wearing some beautiful muted colours, look. I am basically Robin Hood the Panto. <laughs> it's behind you! Oh, oh no, it isn't! <laughs> So what I'm trying to do at the moment, I'm using a single focus point, but I'm also using 
CAF with manual focus. So I can just use the, the blinkies, whatever it's called, just so I can get through that undergrowth. And it should give the impression of a deer hiding from me. So I'm just tweaking the manual focus ring. Oh, that's a beautiful creature. There he goes. So I thought I'd go through some basic settings, my settings, other settings are available. Basically, CAF uh, with manual focus, just so you can get through the undergrowth. Uh, I'm on continuous shooting and I'm setting up my ISO to 800. And one of the things I like to do before we get to the actual shot itself is just get a general exposure. Um, so what I'll do is use something like a tree or some leaves just simply to get a basic exposure and then I'm ready to expose properly when I get to the subject. Such a hero. Where are they, Rob? <laughs> Just so you know, I'm actually still around. I'm just doing all the filming bits for Rob. He's the man Hi. with the plan. This way. Daddy's calling. Come on. Boss is calling. Come on. Let's turn it back around again. Oh. Steady, um, Eddie. Steady. It just fell down. <laughs> but luckily, down. luckily, I've had this lovely, comfortable rock to land on. I mean, it could have been terrible. I could have landed on the soft floor, but nope, elbow on the rock. So what we got here is a badger's eye view. <laughs> so this time of year is awesome for photographing deer because they're right in and they got their minds on other things. But it's also a fantastic time of year for us macro shooters. So I've got my 60 millimeter macro lens attached to my OM-1. And now, should we go on a little treasure hunt and see if we can find some fungus to photograph? Come on, let's go. You come with me. Come on, come on. Look at these beautiful trees. Rob, you coming? Rob, come here, man. Come on, look. Wow. Look at this. This is a proper sleepy hollow tree, isn't it? The headless horseman's gonna pop out and take away my money maker. Look at these awesome mushrooms. This one is in better shape than that one, but I love that they're almost interacting. So I'm gonna try and get a snazzy picture of them. Ooh, this is lovely because we've got wonderful autumnal tones that's quite nice but let me check my depth of field actually yep um, I'm gonna need a bit more depth of field but I don't want to close my aperture down 
because if I do that, this background is gonna come into focus and then we're gonna lose that lovely shallow depth of field. So I will set up my camera to do a little focus stack. I'm gonna get it to do 10 frames. My differential will be three and I'm gonna shoot at f2.8. If you got one of these cameras and you activate focus stacking, you will notice that a box appears. Now that is your guide, so don't shoot anything outside of that box because it's gonna get cropped off. Stay within the lines. I was never good at colouring. Right, there we go. Uh, get my focus point. There we go. It's already shot all 10 frames and I was blending them together. And with a bit of luck, it's gonna look pretty. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cross them, cross them. Rob, Rob, can you take a picture of me next to that tree? I love it. Thanks, man. Yeah, you hold that. Oh. Thanks. Make sure there's no uh, witches in there. <laughs> High five. That's a cool tree. Thanks, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, that tree just tripped you up. Who left that there? Who left that tree there? <laughs> Who left that there? <laughs> what have we spotted? They're fighting. Oh, really? Yeah, not the stags, it's two blokes from a pub. But no, they're, they're, <laughs> no it's two stags fighting. Two stags, rutting away, this is what we want. Well, personally, I'm against violence. <laughs> Where are we going now? We are going toppermost to the poppermost. Oh, right up there. Mm. Now the light is less than desirable, so there's any ways that we can use it to make pretty well, pictures. I am glad you asked me that, Karen. Right? It's almost We're like we had try. a plan. <laughs> <laughs> We're try. Oh, it's raining! Oh no! Oh, poodle glow! Oh. Oh, I ever got a coat? No, me. I got ass. Well, you look. Now to stop the sun. Um, <laughs> Well, we're still going up, by the way. Yes. We're still going. Because it might be fun. It might be fun. And it hey. might add to the atmosphere. It will add to the atmosphere. Right, let's go. Mm. So, as you can see, perfect conditions for wildlife photography and macro. Perfect. Ready? Yeah. Can you um, explain to me? Yeah. Once again? Yeah. Why am I lying down in deer poo? Well, you know full well <laughs> that there's nothing better than lying down in deer poo, pointing your camera at, fully enough on this occasion, a deer. Yeah, there's a couple yeah, of yeah, beautiful yeah. looking deer over yeah. there. Um, backgrounds don't look fantastic, do they? Now, right enough, off our last video, last time you got me covered in doo doo. Yeah. Um, to pay attention to the backgrounds. Yeah. No, if I but do in this instance, mm. it's got nothing to do with background. What do you mean? It's just to get you lying in deer poo. <laughs> you just want me covering your poo. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Roll, look, look. What? What? There's no poo under you. Yeah, well, all the poos you shut it over. <laughs> Why? Because we Why? are professionals. I nearly choked on the poo. On the poo. Rob. Hello. We meant to be friends. Oh, no, not when it comes to photography. <laughs> Each man for himself. <laughs> I got a stitch now. <gasps> Look. Oh. No. It's a leaf hopper nymph. Ah. Ah. Are we covered in nymphs? I tell you what, though. What? What? I got Mac in my pocket. Yeah. So we can look at him. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. And he's, he's gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> Story of our yeah. lives. Yeah. <laughs> and on that note, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> but I'm not going to go over there and photograph some fungus. <laughs> <laughs>
guess what? There's two, I think, parasol mushrooms. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but there's two massive mushrooms just over here. You can see them from 400 paces away. They might just be a parasol. It might be for a little tiny mouse. <laughs> As opposed to a gigantic mouse. <laughs> oh my God, look at them. Oh, they are wicked. I'm gonna, um, I wonder if there's a shot here. I wonder, like this 40 to 150 focus is pretty close. So with this 2.8 aperture and some focus stacking, it might look, might look cool. Should we go have a look? Whoop, woo! Look at them. It's like you and me, Rob. What I absolutely adore is the compression of this uh, 40 to 150. Rob, Rob, do yeah, we right. have to yeah, give right. it back? Yeah, right. Can it, Rob said I can keep the lens, you heard it. These are literally the same techniques as Rob uses for wildlife photography. On the ground, I level with the subject and I'm throwing some of this foreground out of focus, just like it was a deer. It's the same principles. So if you're new to like macro close-up photography, this is basically a macro lens. Just use your existing knowledge and just apply it. And then that way you'll find your own way of doing things. So I've stolen another one of Rob's lenses. <laughs> He's got the 9 to 18 and I love this lens. I've got it at nine millimeters, so I'm really close, pointing up underneath these. But the issue is that they basically just look like silhouettes. So I've got the light off my phone and I'm gonna light the underside with these. I'm sticking with handheld high res mode, even though it's not technically handheld, because it's on the floor. And uh, yeah, just gonna try to get some really cool lighting under there and make the most of that super dramatic sky. So now this is gonna be a 50 megapixel file. Oh, Rob, what do you think? What do you think of that? That's crazy, sir. Crazy. It looks cool, doesn't it? It's like a Pink Floyd album cover. We like a bit of Pink Floyd as well, don't we? Wow, that is cool. All right, I think I'll just stick around and... Oh, it looks like spaceships. Oh, look. This is the outro, everyone. This is the outro. It's a bit where we leave. <laughs> We're going to leave <laughs> very shortly. <laughs> so I'm going to go home, have a bath, eat some biscuits, have a cuppa. What's your plan? My plan is to go home. Nice. And I'll work the rest up when I get there. Super duper. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. This has been an absolute blast. If you have any questions about anything, <laughs> please do. Oh, 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 oh. That was, oh. He saved it. I'm trying to summon them using their own voices as reference. Is that look good? Yeah. Spot on. Guys, if you have any comments or questions or anything, pop them in the comment section. And Robert, I might do a little Q&A special where we answer some of them. Yes, please do. On that note, <laughs> let's go home. Bye. <laughs> He's gone. He's left me on my own. I'll pack everything up. Don't worry. <laughs>